Hello, hello, hello. This is your message from the universe for 11-6-2020. This is the room Kano. Now, Kano is the rune of opening, but in this reading, it is reversed. So when Kano is reversed, it speaks about a darkening, about a separation, about things changing in a relationship, either with someone else or with yourself. It speaks to giving up the old ways and stepping into a new way, letting go of the way that things used to be, and then being okay with sitting in that space of empty for a little bit. See, my kitty is yelling. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shh. Hey, don't do that. So sitting in this space empty, it's, it's like you're, you're okay with the space of healing after something has ended or after a way of life has ended. It's not necessarily a person. It could be a relationship. It could be a friendship. It could be something like that. But when I look at this reading, what I see is four out of the six cards in the reverse position. And the only two upright cards are the emperor and death. Now, the emperor is a card for a father figure, for authority, for the structure, for the way that things usually are, for like authority, like this is the way things are done always. And obviously the death card is about an ending, is about something coming to an end. So that combined with the Kano uh, card of opening reverse, speaking about the old way of doing things coming to an end, really makes me think that this reading is really about changing what you think, what you have been taught is the right way to do things. And I put right in quotes, you can't see me, but the right way to do things, the structure that you have always known and changing that structure. <laughs> She's looking for a boyfriend and changing that structure so that it's something completely new, completely different. So much so that it's almost like a death. And when we pull that into these other cards, we have the Three of Wands reversed and the Chariot reversed, which talks about not moving and missing opportunities or feeling like you're missing opportunities. In a traditional uh, tarot deck, the Three of Wands upright is a person standing on like a cliff looking out over the ships, leaving them behind. And so this reversed really talks about it's not the universe that is taking these opportunities, it's your lack of self-healing. It's the fact that you are not in the right space yet for that to move forward, that there is something that you still have to let go of before we can start that movement forward again. And when we talk about this page of wands reversed, it talks about new ideas when it's upright. And when it is reversed, it talks about self-limiting beliefs. Self-limiting beliefs, you not believing in something. There is a traditional thought pattern that you have, something that you have been taught that you are not letting go of, and it is keeping you from moving forward. This five of cups reversed is really about forgiveness. When it's in the upright position, it's about regret. It's about regret. And when it's in this position, it's about self-healing self-love, forgiveness, bringing yourself out of that regret through that forgiveness. To me, this entire reading is really about taking a look at your deeply ingrained patterns. That's what this emperor represents to me. And this Kano reverse, taking a look at those deeply ingrained patterns that are keeping you from moving forward. And stopping you from acting on those ideas that you have. And it's all about forgiving yourself, forgiving others, loving yourself. Releasing the grudges that you hold, releasing the ties that you hold to particular ways of doing things. I know that for people that have certain types of anxiety, um, certain types of uh, I don't want to say OCD, but like they like things to be in a particular way and that they it has to be that way. I recognize that that feels very necessary to you, but in many ways, shifting it to something else can benefit. Shifting the way that things have always been into something new changes everything 
and releases an energetic block for you. It could be something big. It could be something simple. But releasing that structure from the past is necessary. Releasing the structure of <coughs> having to put your pants on before you put your socks on. It could be something as simple as just a regular routine that you do or a way of thinking that you do or a, a something that you think is the way that things are but they're really not that way there's more to it this space that you're in if the Kano is about clarity and opening when it is in its proper position it's about clarity opening epiphanies seeing something from a different light seeing something in a new way this is about breaking the way that you have been seeing it. This is about stopping the way that you've seen it in the past and changing it for your future. Or even just recognizing it, putting a stop to it, and then sitting in that space of emptiness. Because in the emptiness, we use that for healing. We use that for loving ourselves before the new thing comes in. Because sometimes we have to get that down pat. We have to get that healing and that self-love down pat before the new thing will come in. I know this can be difficult, y'all. Awakening is not easy. And sometimes, like in the movie The Matrix, you think, put me back in the Matrix. I just want to taste a steak that isn't a steak. Those of you who haven't seen the movie, I'm sorry. <laughs> you should watch it. It's really good. Um... But this is our purpose here. This soul evolution is what we're here for. And those who are not awake don't live in this space. Those who don't recognize that it's all about changing and growing and becoming becoming better or remembering our divine uh, essence, they live a very different life than we do. And that's not judgment and it's not putting anyone down. It's just different because both, both parts are necessary. I heard somebody refer to it as um, non-playable characters. Um, and I don't remember where I heard that from. I think it was in a, game, uh, a book that I was reading. But when you're gaming, there are people who are uh, necessary for your quest and people who you can interact with while you're on that quest. And then there are things like non-playable characters, like when you go into a village and you go around asking questions and some of them have only one line. They only know one thing. And some of them don't have any lines at all. This is how we go through life. Now, I'm not saying that those people that aren't awake don't have their own life because they're on their own little quest. And in the game, that little guy is like hoeing carrots the whole time, right? <laughs> and I'm sure that there's some little story that goes along with him, but it's not the same type of a quest that you're on. I got off on a tangent, but take a close look at your patterns take a close look at those beliefs that you think are unshakable because maybe just maybe they are connected to your blockages you are beloved you matter and you are so loved